Thank you for joining APC Solution. Today we're going to unbox the Razer Viper Ultimate Wireless Gaming Mouse. Let's get on into it. Got some eSports branding on the side. Lots of companies. Let's see, what do we have on the back? Ultra fast, hyper speed wireless technology. Razer Focus 20K optical sensor. Up to 70 hours battery life. Uh, Hyperoid onboard memory and cloud storage. 75 grams, that's extremely light. And Razer's optical mouse switches. And we got some talk about Razer Hyperspeed on the other side, their wireless technology. 25% faster. And your normal jargon on the bottom. Let's see what we got in the box. Nice fancy little pull ribbon up here. Their literature. Unleash the true potential for gamers by gamers. Well, let's see what we got in here. Viper Optimate. So we expect a adapter, adapter cable. Go through basic mouse setup. A little hidden storage compartment for the doggle. Oh, fun, and some Razer branding stickers. And right off the bat, there's our cable. Oh. I think this is upside down. It is. So we've got the cable hidden back here, which it's a very nice braided cable. Micro USB. USB mini, I'm sorry, not micro. It's a USB mini. USB A, again, with the nice cover for storage. Comes with a rubber tabbed little cord holder. To help your cable management. I'll put that aside. And let's see, how do we get this up? without completely destroying the box. Oh, oh, this pops up, there we go. And there's the mouse. There's the adapter. I'll take that off. And from the pictures, whoop, <coughs> there's our doggle. So that's your little storage compartment there. So when you're gonna set this up, with these high speed ones, they always want you to get as close as possible. So you can actually put your receiver in this little attachment. Your cable will get plugged into here, like so. You run this cord and ideally, to get optimal performance, you wanna keep it within as close proximity. Now, if you're a laptop user, it's not a big deal because it'll probably be in your laptop on the side like that, which is fine. But depending on your setup, and Logitech does something similar to this with the adapter and things. And then when you need to charge it, you just pull that out and you plug that directly into there and you can keep on going. So that's it for what's in the box. Let's get it hooked up and start using it. Now that we have the mouse hooked up, let's take a closer look at these buttons. First, there's the power switch. And obviously when that's on, you see the RGB of the Razer logo. One thing that's worth noting is if we turn this off, when the RGB is turned off, that logo is pretty difficult to see. It's a very matte finish. 
But in any case, let's get back into these buttons. You have your DPI button to change the DPI settings of the mouse. You have two buttons on the right intended for left-handed mouse use, two buttons on the left intended for right-handed mouse usage, the center wheel with a click, right click, left click. So before we conclude this video, let's just review some of the key features of this mouse. It is obviously a wireless mouse with optical key switches. It weighs in at about 74 grams. The sensor inside is an optical sensor with a max DPI setting of 20,000. The style of the mouse is ambidextrous, which is why you have buttons on both sides of the mouse. And it features a hybrid memory of onboard and cloud. Now, just to kind of talk about that a little bit more, it didn't quite function as we expected. Uh, our thoughts were it has onboard memory. We'll be able to not need to use Razer Synapse software, load some profiles to the mouse, turn off the software, and be able to do our thing. We couldn't get that type of use case to work. Um, so possibly we'll do some more investigating and give you a, another video on the Razer Synapse software. And that concludes our unboxing of the Razer Viper Ultimate Wireless Gaming Mouse. Overall, great mouse, very, very high performance, extremely lightweight, just as advertised. Uh, the clicks are solid and quick with those optical key switches. Only quirky thing is the onboard memory that doesn't seem to work without Razer Synapse. Uh, we'll dive into that a little deeper, hopefully in a future video. Um, but other than that, I think it's a great mouse, well worth picking up. So that's all we have. Thanks again for tuning in. Please make sure to hit that like button and get subscribed for future videos. And check out some of our other content while you're here. Have a blessed day.